the Tudor dynasty, forged at the Battle of Bosworth in 1485 and made infamous by Henry VIII and his children, and it all started at Pembroke Castle. The first castle built on the site was constructed in 1093. A strategic location on a promontory beside the Pembroke River aided the Norman invasion of Wales. The castle was given to William Marshall, the best knight that ever lived, in 1189, who became the Earl of Pembroke. During his life, he was a statesman under Henry II, Henry the Young King, Richard I, John, and Henry III. Under Marshall's ownership, the wooden Motton Bailey Castle turned into a Norman castle made from stone. The castle changed hands several times before it reverted back to the crown. Henry VI then gave the castle and the earldom of Pembroke to his half-brother Jasper Tudor in 1452. Jasper and his brother Edmund were the sons of Henry V's French queen Catherine of Valois and Welsh courtier Owen Tudor. In 1455, 24-year-old Edmund Tudor married 12-year-old Margaret Beaufort. In the 15th century, although the age of consent for girls to marry was 12, consummating a marriage before she reached 14 years was considered to be risking her health, especially as it was reported Margaret was small and petite. However, the marriage was consummated and resulted in a pregnancy. Whilst Margaret was seven months pregnant at Pembroke Castle, Edmund Tudor died of the bubonic plague at Carmarthen Castle. It was a very difficult birth for the 13-year-old widow due to her age and size, and reportedly both mother and child almost died in the process. Nevertheless, on the 28th of January, 1457, Margaret gave birth to the future King Henry VII. Under the protection of Jasper Tudor, Margaret and Henry lived at Pembroke Castle until Henry was two years old. In 1461, the castle passed to Lord Herbert of Raglan, who became the new Earl of Pembroke after the triumphs of the York side in 1461 at the Battle of Tewkesbury. The castle is roughly divided in two, made up of the inner ward and the outer ward. Construction of the inner ward started first. The five-storey Great Keep dominates the inner ward, construction beginning in the early 13th century. The inner ward also contains domestic buildings, including two halls, a chapel, a chancery for administrative duties, and stone defences. A cavern with access to the river was also incorporated into the defences of the castle. Construction of the outer ward began under the martial earls in the 13th century. Six towers, a bastion, stone walls and a three-storey gatehouse made up this half of the castle. The Henry VII Tower is a reported birthplace of the first Tudor king. After the Act of Union passed by Henry VII's son Henry VIII in 1536, the administration of Wales was reorganised and Carmarthen became the centre of the new, larger county of Pembrokeshire. No longer an administrative centre, it also took a severe beating in the Civil War before being restored in the 19th century. Pembroke Castle is one of the largest castles in Wales. With its history and views, is well worth a visit.